Hello, Cancer. Sun, rising, and Venus. Let's look at the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. This, to me, uh, kind of reminds me of, like, the Three of Wands in Tarot. So you could be connecting with a Leo specifically. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case, but there's a level of waiting at play. I feel like somebody's waiting for something, and it could very well be you, Cancer, that you're waiting on something, um, or someone could very well be waiting on you. But there's, like, an overall energy of somebody kind of just sitting around waiting for something to happen um and we'll see you know what this person's actually waiting on and who this person actually is whether it's you or your person um because we are you know picking up on not only your energy but as well as your person's overall energy um but let's see what's going on here because like i said there is like a level of waiting on someone's behalf somebody's waiting on something to happen um but cancer let's focus on you first and then we'll jump over to your person just keep in mind the roles can be reversed also keep in mind time is fluid so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Cancer currently view this relationship? So we do have the Five of Wands. We also have the Seven of Cups. And then we also have the Nine of Pentacles. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Seven of Wands. This is interesting. This is very, very interesting, Cancer, because I kind of feel like somebody's refusing to take no for an answer is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm kind of seeing here. But I don't feel like it's you refusing to take no for an answer. I feel like it's someone external to you that's refusing to take no as an answer is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. Um, I feel like... I feel like um, there's someone here, Cancer, that you want absolutely nothing to do with. And I kind of feel like this someone has given you a variety of different reasons as to why you want absolutely nothing to do with them. But it kind of looks like even though you have valid reasons as to why you shouldn't continue to involve yourself here with this person, I kind of feel like this person's looking at you like, no, like I'm not going anywhere. No no, no, we're not breaking up. Nope, you're not going to leave me, actually. Like, it does kind of have that feel to it. Um, I also kind of feel like due to your experience here with this person, it does cause you to just want to be single, honestly, um, and not continue to involve yourself with absolutely anyone. And I feel like it has a lot to do with your overall experience uh, with this person that's you know, refusing to take no for an answer is kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, I feel like this person has given you like a variety of different reasons as to why you shouldn't continue to involve yourself with them. And I kind of feel like for some of you, you may have allowed like a lot of things to kind of slide here and there, but it kind of looks like something recently happened here between you and this person. And whatever recently happened here between you and this person was like the straw that basically broke the camel's back. And you're just like, that's it. Enough is enough. And we kind of see you coming in, really putting your foot down here with this person. I feel like you're trying to get this person... I feel like you're trying to get this person to leave you alone. I also kind of feel like this is you coming in and initiating an ending here between you and this person due to whatever recently happened here between the two of you that was literally like the straw that basically broke the camel's back um, is kind of what I'm getting. But I feel like due to your experience here uh, with this person, it causes you to just simply want to be single and not even bother with love anymore is kind of what I'm getting, Cancer. How does this person... Currently view this relationship. Oh Lord. Okay. We have the uh nine of wands, we have the five of wands, and then we also have the eight of cups out here. This person knows that they did something wrong. They know that they did something wrong. But it's interesting because even though they know they messed up big time, it's like they're still kind of putting up a fight, refusing to kind of let you walk out of their life. You know what I mean? It's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. Like this person knows that they're dead wrong for whatever it is that they did. Nobody needs to tell them this. They know. They know that they messed up. They know that they shouldn't have done what they did. They know. But... I feel like this Eight of Cups is your energy. Like, I feel like you're trying to walk away from them in this entire situation um, and just simply, like, move forward and move on with your life and not continue to, like, involve yourself with this person anymore. And here they are kind of, like, standing in your way, like, no, please don't leave me. Please don't go. Please don't do this. Like, it does kind of have that feel to it. You know what's interesting is that... I am kind of getting that from this person. It's like if the shoe was on the other foot, right, Cancer, and you kind of put them through everything that they basically put you through, um, they would have gotten rid of you a long time ago is kind of what I'm gathering. 
Like, had you honestly put this person through everything that this person has basically put you through, they would have literally gotten rid of you in a heartbeat. It's kind of what I'm getting. How does this person currently feel? Yeah. It kind of looks like there goes their their chance to to be happy, right? And 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 settle down and build and establish a life here with someone. It's kind of what I'm got what I'm kind of gathering off of this person's overall energy. Um it's unfortunate though because I feel like they were literally the cause of this, you know, marriage or this relationship going south here between, you know, the two of you, but it kind of looks like, you know, there goes like the love of their life. There goes, you know, their opportunity to, you know, settle down with someone and build a life here with someone, AKA you. I kind of feel like they just kind of like ruin things here, man, between the two of you. Yeah, I kind of feel like this person really did ruin things here between the two of you, Cancer. What else can you tell me about this person and how they're currently feeling about this entire situation? Yeah. There goes the love of their life is kind of what I'm getting here. There goes the love of their life is kind of what I'm getting. Uh, we have the King of Wands. We have the Five of Cups. And then we also have the Seven of Pentacles out here. Um, I kind of feel like this person is going to spend a lot of time reflecting on whatever it is that they did on their end to cause this relationship to go south. Not only do I see them reflecting on, you know, the role that they basically played in all this and the cause of this relationship going south here between the two of you, I also see them strategizing like, okay, what can I say and what could I possibly do to get my baby back is kind of what I'm gathering off of this person's overall energy. Again, this one over here is not going to go down without a fight. How does cancer currently feel? Okay, so we have the king of cups. We also have the queen of cups and then we also have the emperor. This is interesting. This is very, very interesting because cancer, I see you freeing yourself from this connection here between you and this person and it is someone that you did grow to have you know a lot of emotions for you know I feel like you know with this person to the right of me it is someone like I said that you grew a lot of emotions for somebody that you started to honestly care for deeply and unfortunately due to you know the cause of things going south here between the two of you it, it's causing you to not only want to free yourself from this entire situation but it's also causing you to kind of realize that you had a really good opportunity here. You had a really good opportunity here that presented itself to you at some point in time. And it could have happened throughout the course of your involvement here with this person, um, or it could have happened prior to you meeting this person. But I kind of feel like you chose this person over someone else, kind of what I'm getting. Um, so I kind of see you in this overall energy of kind of reflecting like, man, like had I just chosen the emperor, maybe I wouldn't find myself in this situation currently at the moment. Like it has that type of feel to it. I want to look at this emperor a little bit more. Time more about the emperor i feel like you chose i feel like you chose this king of cups over this emperor again now this emperor over here they could have made their presence known in your life prior to you meeting this king of cups maybe you met this emperor um during the course of your involvement with them that's definitely a possibility but you either met them before you met the king of cups or during the course of your involvement here with this king of cups but there's an overall energy of you basically choosing you know this king of cups here over this emperor and it kind of looks like you're sitting in a boatload of regret now cancer you know a lot of you feel like you should have chosen this emperor instead of this um king of cups here that left you extremely hurt and disappointed in the end okay a lot of you kind of wish that you can kind of go back into time and and choose this emperor instead of this king of cups for some of you you might even think about contacting this emperor because i'm also kind of getting that for some of you out there what actions will cancer take towards this person or moving forward we do have the knight of swords we also have the lovers as well as the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck yeah i was kind of getting that um it, it kind of looks like 
it kind of looks like you chose this king of cups over this emperor and you're kind of sitting in a boat in a boatload of regret due to this decision that you chose to make as far as like choosing this king of cups over this emperor um and it kind of looks like it's because you know this king of, this king of cups came in and they left you extremely hurt and disappointed in the end um and this is kind of why you're experiencing what you're experiencing here on your behalf a lot of you feel like you really did self-sabotage a really good opportunity here for yourself because you chose this king of cups over this emperor and i do see you running back to this emperor trying to salvage your relationship here with this person I want to see how that's actually going to play out, though, for you, Cancer, because I do see you running back to this emperor trying to salvage your relationship here with them. See, a lot of you knew that this emperor in particular was somebody who genuinely did have your best interests at heart. A lot of you knew that. A lot of you knew that about this emperor, but it kind of looks like due to the amount of love that you have here for this king of cups, it kind of looks like you chose them instead. What actions? Will this person take towards cancer moving forward? Like I said, when this relationship, you know, comes to an end here between you and this person, if it hasn't already, I do see them spending a lot of time reflecting on whatever it is that they did to cause this relationship to go south. But I was kind of getting like an overall energy of them kind of strategizing like, okay, what do I say and what do I do to fix this is kind of what I was getting um, off of this person. We do see this person from your past resurfacing back up here for you, Cancer. I am getting an apology from them to you. Um, I am definitely getting that. But with the Six of Pentacles coming out here, this is an overall energy of them wanting to make things right here with you. So I do see this person extending themselves to you. I kind of feel like this person's extremely worried, though. They're extremely worried that this relationship between you and them might be done and over with. And that's something that really, really does have this person extremely worried and concerned. But with the Temperance card to the Two of Cups of the World coming out here, they do want to heal things here with you. They do want to fix things here with you, Cancer. But little do they know, little do they know, it kind of looks like you're running right back to this emperor. It kind of looks like you're running right back to this emperor. And it is stemming from a place of you trying to like salvage, you know, what it is that you once upon a time had here uh, with this emperor. Like I said, Cancer, it kind of looks like you chose this king of cups over this emperor. And it kind of looks like you're sitting in a boatload of regret because now you see uh, that this king of cups is no good. Um, and you're starting to kind of realize like, damn, like I had a really good opportunity here with this emperor and I chose to walk away from it to go be with this king of cups and now look at how this king of cups is like treating me you know what i mean it kind of has that type of feel to it so i do see you running back to this emperor i'm kind of curious to see how things are going to play out though between you and this emperor how is this emperor going to respond to uh cancer there's a strong chance cancer that the two of you will be able to fix and repair things here with one another is kind of what I'm gathering, okay? There's a strong chance that you guys will be able to fix and repair things here with one another. This emperor may not even know that you chose this king of cups over them because I am kind of getting that. Um, for those who do know that you did choose this king of cups over them, with the two of swords coming out here, um, I do kind of feel like they're going to be a little bit hesitant to revisit this connection here between you and them, you know, out of fear that like, okay, so, but what if this king of cups comes back and, you know, tries to win you over? Are you going to leave me for them again? Like, is that how, is, how this is going to go down? So this person might even go as far as to have that type of conversation with you, but there's a strong chance that the two of you will be able to make amends here with one another. All right, cancel. So that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.